What's up? Hold on, let me close this. Okay, hopefully you guys don't hear the aircon as bad. But they called me today from Anthony's school. I'm, I'm picking up right now. It's like, it's time to get out of school. But they called me today from Anthony's school and they told me that he bit a boy. They're like playing tag and I guess the boy had like pushed him and he bit the boy. But I'm pretty sure that's not what happened because Anthony's not like that. Like for him to defend himself, it takes more than just playing tag. You know what I mean? Like he, he likes tags with his sister all the time and he's never bit her just because, you know, she's like pushed him. Um, so I feel like it's more than that, but I didn't say anything. I was just listening to the story. So the principal called me and she was like, he was playing tag and I guess the guy pushed him. And she didn't make it seem like a big deal. She's like, oh, well, he might have pushed him. He didn't even say if like he really did push him. And so she said that Anthony ended up biting him. So what I'm going to do is I obviously have to discipline him. Or not discipline him, just let him know that what he did was not right. So I don't know if he's going to tell me. And I hope he tells me. I'm going to test if he actually like confides in me and tells me. Because I want him to tell me. I don't want him to be scared of telling me things. Of course, like he knows he's going to be in trouble. But I don't want him to be scared of tell like to tell me what he's done wrong. So I'm hoping maybe whenever he comes in, he'll tell me what happened. And if he does, I'm going to be very proud of him. And I think I'll just let him kind of like not not completely go off like you know like not completely like not get in trouble but of course he's still gonna get a lecture but i feel like i want him to be responsible enough to tell me and um this was his first time his first time getting called from school he went to the principal's office they talked to him so tonya if you're watching this 18 years later however long <laughs> this is your first time that your principal has called me and told me that that you've actually done something like this and and I'll ask him what happened and hopefully, you know, I'll believe, like, he'll tell me the truth and, um, I don't know. But I'm going to see what he tells me and I want to record it for you guys. I hope the aircon isn't really not bothering the way this sounds because I want to capture this moment. So a quick update, we are currently at church, we're getting ready to go inside and to um, go to a church service, but um, what's it called? I wanted to update you guys on Anthony and the situation with him because my phone died like halfway through um, the thing and I didn't even notice, but he ended up letting me know that he bit the kid and um, I think, I talked to his principal and we thought that the best thing that he, for him to do was to get a kind of like timeout by himself recess so that is what they're gonna do and um they're just gonna make him play by himself um like a little detention practically for him so that's what they're gonna do and um i told him that was fine because he needed a little punishment so that is what we're doing anthony confessed to it he's told me the story so i'm very thankful for that <laughs> sorry guys um, and thank you guys so much for your support on the recent video that I uploaded. Um, I uploaded, I was going to upload today, um, but I wanted to get ready. I wanted to change. I wanted to like do all this stuff. And I was like, no, Leslie, because this isn't really you. Like if you get ready, if you change, if you, if you put a front of something that you're not, then it's going to seem like, you know, you're, it, it, I'm not going to give it my all because I'm going to try to be perfect. I'm going to try to be like somebody that I'm not so I decided to not do that so I decided to um what's it called I have decided to just well today I just decided to be myself on it just every single day how I look how you guys see me on my vlogs pr practically and I'm just thankful for Stop. all the love and encouragement Stop. you guys have given me so I really appreciate it um the kids have been driving me kind of crazy today um but other than that like what's new right being a mom is kind of Kind of crane all in all so yeah i have a makeup tutorial to upload for you guys this week um and then uh what else i have a huge headache for some reason i don't know why so, so today is so monday to, so tomorrow's gonna be saturday 
yes i was i was wrong i thought it was friday i'm like wait no it's monday so it's monday <laughs> it's monday so it's monday and i'm gonna film this whole week i'm recording this whole monday, week Tuesday, weekly vlog, so. Wednesday, welcome to our weekly vlogs guys hey. hey guys so i am recording on my phone once again uh, my camera's downstairs and i really don't feel like going downstairs i don't need to go downstairs i am ready to go so i just left it down there and right now i'm gonna go i have an appointment at four for um the beauty school and we're gonna talk about um <clears throat> we're gonna talk about how much it's gonna be like the the amount how much i have to pay off we're gonna like probably do like some payment plans and things like that um and then after that i'll probably have to i don't know they'll tell me everything at um there but i just think too much and always think that something's gonna happen and you know i don't know i don't even know what i'm talking about but i'm gonna go to the school anthony's getting picked up right now and then i'm gonna come and then they're gonna come pick me up and then we're gonna go to the school yeah. they're gonna see i'm gonna see how much it is so they told me today that they couldn't help me like the state the state well fafsa i couldn't apply for it because there's really no point for it because they just don't accept us they just don't really have anything for us so um yeah we're just i have to pay out of pocket i'm gonna go see how much it's gonna cost to do that and Leah got makeup all up in her face because she was messing with it. So I think Tony's here. I'm gonna get ready to go. I'm wearing, yeah, I'm wearing this little shirt that's like off the shoulders, which always comes up. And then I'm like wearing some like cute sweatpants, you could say. Um, I'm so nervous for some reason. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Like I've gone there before. I've talked to the lady. She's so sweet. She's so nice. I don't know why I'm nervous. I don't know. I don't know why. So. Uh -oh. Hi guys, so a little phone update. Me and Leah are laying down and the two other kids that I take care of are currently taking a nap. And I feel like, I don't I know what I feel be. like. I, I feel be. like, like crap, I think. I say that a lot, but right now I'm just feeling like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I haven't really been able to eat for the past like two three days i mean i eat i force myself to eat but i feel sick like i makes me want to throw up every time i eat but i'm hungry like it makes me sick every time i eat and just looking at food makes me sick and of course some of you guys might be like oh well you're pregnant but i know i'm not pregnant i know 100 percent that i'm not pregnant i think it's just maybe like what i'm going through I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I feel like today I woke up and I tried to eat and I forced myself to eat some eggs. And I feel like it's not like a cold. It's not like it's not like sickness. It's like I don't know what it is. Like I don't feel good. Like like I've just been really down lately and. I don't know. Like, I just don't feel good. Like, right now, I feel like throwing up. I have this. Oh, it's a bubble. My stomach really hurts. Like, my side really hurts. Like, I'm in pain. So, I mean, I don't know what it could be. Like, I feel just sick. And every time I eat, like, I feel like... So I don't eat because I'm not hungry, but then like my body obviously is like you need to eat because like I feel like I'm like my stomach is eating itself. So I'll eat and then after I eat, I feel really, really sick. Like my stomach really hurts, but then I'm just like, it probably feels like that because you haven't ate. So whenever I do eat, like my stomach, I don't feel good. So I don't know. I've just been like, <laughs> we're trying to get Leah down for a nap, but it's taken a while and... I don't know. So yesterday I went to a talk to the school, and they said it would cost like about fifteen thousand dollars. So we'll we're gonna end up to sixteen thousand. So yeah, probably need like, so it, to, for the school it cost sixteen thousand. Then, like they gave me different payment plans, so I'll have to figure out which one I want to do. Yeah, and I think I'm gonna start in September in uh, November. Actually, not September. I was gonna start in September, but um, and a double ruby, no, ruby, 
Yeah, Whoopi. Oh, it's just like Whoopi. I'm pretty sure it's just maybe like the, the stress, the sadness, like everything combined. Hello. She keeps asking to go to friend's house. No. Yeah. Do you keep asking to go to friend's house? Whose house? Eduardo's and who's else? Jairo and Vanessa's. Yeah. And that's your movie. That's your movie. That's your movie. Yeah. But then it's your movie. They can't see you. You need to put it this way. Hi. How about that? Okay, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, guys. So we are going on a walk. We usually don't do this. Yeah. We used to do it all the time. But I've definitely gotten a little lazy. I've been feeling under the weather for a little bit. Maybe that you guys haven't seen, but I know I have been. So I like have been really just trying not to go out. Wow. I don't know. That's the way I am. Like I try to like block everybody and the sunlight. I like to just sit in a dark room. Like if I could, I don't know. It's just, I feel like it's just like things that I go through. It's really weird. But so today I got, um, and I got a call from Anthony's school. Go that way, sissy. Uh-uh, that way. Go that way. That way. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to walk two kids while doing this. Today, I got a phone call from Anthony's school, and it was his teacher, and she told me how he wasn't being very good in class and how it was just hard for her to, like, keep him under control. Like, he would get up and do cartwheels, and it was just really difficult. I don't know. Like, and... As you guys know, I got a, a call in the beginning of the week telling me, yeah, how he bit a kid. And so she was just, like, letting me know that it was hard for him to uh, just I'm kind up. of, I guess it was just hard for him to, I'm yeah, baby, I'm looking at the sun. You you looking at the sun? Go that way, mama. Go that way. Just in case of the car turns. That way, that way, that way, that way. More and more and more and more. I'm trying to stay on the sidewalk, you guys. I don't know. It's just really difficult for me to kind of process i feel like it just brought me even more down than what i was feeling i had gotten up and done stuff and clean so i felt like a lot better but it just it just really sucked today how's this okay there's a car coming behind us let's stay that way tony you don't have to grab your sister like that and push her come on okay guys sorry to stop because we're like right in the inter intersection yeah baby we're right in the intersection and do you see the moon up there um, and I was just too busy and oh, so yeah. I had to like pay attention, but like I was saying, so she was just trying to be really nice about it and I appreciate that because like I appreciate her trying to be nice about it, but then also she was just like, well, I want to get something down for Anthony and I want to help him and she's like, we can give him a tree after like every time that he acts good or if he acts nice and I was just like, I was just like, I really appreciate you like trying in that form, but I don't want my child to think just because. No, no, don't go in there. Keep going straight. Keep going straight. There you go. So I was like telling her that. Just, I don't want my son or my children to think that if they do something right, they're gonna get rewarded because it's something that they have to learn no matter what. Like, I just want them to like, you know, they shouldn't have to be rewarded. They have to do it because they have to do it. And so I don't want him to expect a reward every time he does something good or he does what is expected of him to do. So, oh, look at him, look at him. Come on, Anthony, let's go. Wait right there, mama, wait right there, wait right there. So we're back, you guys. I stopped filming for a little bit because I just needed to pay some attention to the kids, of course. Now we're back in my little neighborhood, so it's a little bit more calmer and a little less dangerous but so I just like told her I'm like no he needs he needs some punishment because what he's doing is not okay so um I was like I'll call you back tomorrow if that's okay and see how he's doing because he's gonna get a punishment tonight hey you don't I don't like spanking I didn't want to spank him um so I decided to <clears throat> um let him know what it's like to be an adult if that makes not not completely like that but i've just she looks so little she looks so little running she looks so tiny <laughs> Hi. 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 so 
we what I have decided to do is I told him that he is not gonna do anything fun um, of course like walking isn't fun for him like honestly Anthony does not like to walk like he likes to walk to the store we have like a store down the street where we get treats he likes to walk to the playground but if it's just walking he doesn't like it so like today he had to come with me on a walk just to walk no um, like no playground well we went to the playground but he had to sit in in um, a bench on a bench and stay there while his sister just played for like two minutes like legit she just went in there swung a little bit and then that was it but he was very very upset over that because that was his punishment so then after that I told him that um, tomorrow I better not hear anything bad from the teacher I don't want him sitting on the seat because they have a timeout seat and um, the safe seat, the safe seat. Okay guys, so welcome back. Hold on, I feel like you guys aren't positioned right, but we just got, if I don't position you guys right, a puppy. it's just gonna be bad. It's calling me. You're welcome. Bye. In my power and to improve myself and help myself get out of this situation because I'm 19 years old and I didn't have a driver's license. I didn't have a bank account. I just didn't have anything. But it was just because I was too like scared or too embarrassed to go out and face the world and be like, I'm undocumented. I'm not a US citizen. Um, I'm on dock. I, I feel like for me it was just embarrassing at this point I'm just like I don't care because there's other people maybe going through the same thing that I'm going through and I my goal is going for US citizenship um, So I just it's a, it's a long road ahead. So um, I'm just trying my best right now. So um, That's why it's exciting for me. I got my license. I went in yesterday um, to get my permit and my driver's license because you take both the written test and then your driver's license since I'm over 18 um, <clears throat> so I have decided to do that um, and I passed I honestly thought I wasn't gonna pass but I passed both of them um, and now I have a driver's license I went to go get a bank account and I'm just I'm I'm glad I'm actually doing something for myself um, and yeah, so now I think the next step is to find a job. I was going to go to the Beauty Academy, but that's way too expensive right now. I need to save up some money. So they actually have another opening like for students on, in November. And so I'm going to try to get a job, work my butt off, um, and then try to save some money and um, apply for the school again because it's, it's definitely a lot of money. So... Um, I don't feel as overwhelmed anymore because I'm actually doing something for myself so if you are maybe like on dock or something and or like you're undocumented I don't know where you're at in life right now but just follow your dreams keep going you can do it um, find help there's tons of people out there to help you and like yesterday I went in and I was just like in myself I wanted to be embarrassed I wanted to be ashamed because of everything that's going on like you want to be embarrassed like you just have it within you like you don't want Want to but you like it's like something that you can't like resist so like I went in there I'm like I really hope I get treated like everybody else and honestly you guys like I got the nicest people yesterday and of course that's not the case for everybody because I know I've heard tons of stories where like oh yeah they were rude and they were mean but like here in my little town honestly like I expected somebody to be like rude and ugly towards me but honestly guys they were so nice they were so nice yesterday and I was just so happy like they were so sweet to me um, they helped me out with like they answered any questions that I had they made it super easy on me and I'm just very thankful for that and I'm just like I, I like told my mom like I'm so thankful for that because like they made my life a little easier and they made me not feel ashamed for what I am hey guys what's up once again I'm in the car <clears throat> I'm heading to Walmart again. I need to get a few things. I swear. I need to like make a day in the beginning of the week or in the end of the week where I just go and get everything that I need. But I'm so bad. Like I'm always constantly running to Walmart. But I need to update you guys about AJ. Maybe you guys are wondering like how it's going. And honestly like 
there's really nothing to update we haven't talked like we'll talk about the kids like if I have something to do or if he has something to do or if he can't have the kids and blah blah we'll talk about those type of things which is like barely barely um but other than that like we just we don't really talk we just I think it's just at that point where we just I don't know we just don't talk anymore what are you doing I have the hiccups what are you doing I'm making them an update on AJ and I. Oh. So, I mean, it's not like we're fighting or like bickering at each other. It feels nice to be at this point, actually, because before it was just like constant fighting. Like, I was like, it's over, and then like we fight and fight and fight and fight and fight, and then it would just get really bad, and then we'd end up getting back together, and it was just like this horrible circle. And right now, like, legit, ever since I told him I'm done, I haven't, I just haven't put any thought and care into it. I was just like, I'm done. I am done. And so, I think he feels the same way. So, I mean, that's at least, it's good that we've gotten to this point. So. Hey guys. Let me move all my cords out of the way. Um, so, I am finishing up editing my weekly vlog. And I wanted to come up on here and um, talk to you guys a little bit about what's going on. Um, so. If you guys didn't know, um, they, Trump has decided to end DACA. Um, and that was like everything that I was talking to you guys about. And honestly, like, if you guys heard me, it was like my only opportunity to get, to, well, no, it's not my only opportunity, honestly, you guys. Thankfully, it's not my only opportunity to get, you know, to work and stuff like that. Um, but my heart just aches for those people, those, um, The ones who are going to school, the ones who are scared to lose their jobs. Um, I understand how hard it can be, but my heart definitely aches for those who maybe were looking to get DACA here in a few years, whenever they were eligible. Um, and, like, I understand how maybe, like, hopeless you feel at this point because I felt it for a little bit too but <clears throat> you guys if you were on DACA and you need to renew it renew it right now they're giving you till October 5th and if your DACA expires by I think March of 2018 then you need to renew it right now because it gives you the opportunity um and definitely if I had something to tell you guys is do your research um, because so many people talk with their emotions and obviously it's like fear because they're scared to lose their jobs and they're scared to lose, you know, their education, but do your research. I've done mine, um, and it'll make you a little bit more at peace. Of course, it's like, it's kind of like in the air right now because we don't know what's going to happen, but I think if you do your research, you'll be okay. Um, if you don't have DACA, if you're an illegal immigrant uh, child or a teenager, you don't have DACA, then sadly you can't apply for it because they're not taking any more like applications on DACA. But there is hope for you. Don't lose hope. Do not lose hope. Um, I could sit up here and just like cry and rant. But if I could tell you something, we are the future. Don't give up. There's so much in you. Um, and I know it hurts and I know, I know what you feel like. I know that you feel like maybe like useless, you feel hopeless, you feel like, I don't know. I've been, I know what you feel like. I know what you feel like. And, um, uncertainty and, un and fear is so, so, uh, it's what's going around right now in our community. But we are the future, you guys. And there's so many people out there willing to help you. There, you're not alone. There's tons and tons of people out there to help you. And thankfully, you guys, if you guys are wondering about me, um, thankfully, I think that we'll be able to keep, they can't revoke our DACA. They can't, like, take it away because we already have it. So I am good for, like, two years, I think, unless they do some, like, drastic change, which, honestly, like I said, is up in the air. 
um, ending DACA just ends the applications so like no more people can like enter um, you can renew your DACA still but you can't apply for it like apply it's confusing if you don't know that sometimes like it's important to do your research but so like they've ended that I'm gonna fight for you guys like I hope you know that like I'm gonna fight I'm going through it I know youtubers that go that are going through it too like I'm gonna fight for you guys I stand with you this fight is not done so I hope you guys are ready for this <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching my weekly vlog it's kind of standing on a, like ending on a sad side on a side note sad note it's not over it's not over you guys I hope you know that so I love you guys and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more videos. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye, guys.